The Tool ID system is a solution for transferring data between presetter and machine tool automatically and with minimal manual operator intervention. The system is built around assigning a unique serial number to each tool assembly, in this case via a data matrix QR code as you can see here. These QR codes can be supplied sequentially on a reel or even laser etched directly onto the tool holder. The QR code only contains unique serial information or the unique ID of the tool and can be tied in with existing serial numbers if you have them available. Measuring the tool is conducted as normal, first clamping the tool in the spindle and bringing the area of interest into view. In this example, we're using the advanced E46L presetter, which makes measurement very quick and easy, although the tool ID system can be applied to a number of other models within the range. Once we're happy with the measurement, we make use of the TID button, shown here by a picture of a scanner and a QR code. This activates the scanner, we scan the tool, and the current tool data is retrieved from the database. These fields you see here are completely customizable and can be changed depending on machine tool and application. We simply click Z and X to pull through the measured values. Once confirmed, we press DNC, rescan the tool as a safety measure. This data is then uploaded back to the database. Over at the machine, we can view the tool manager. In this example, we're going to load into pot 54, which you'll see has a default length of 9999 uh, and no other data. We load our tool into the carousel, and as we can see, it's automatically scanned by the reader placed there. The IPC handles communication between presetter, database and machine, so we select load tool and the data is automatically uploaded to the machine. This data from the presetter is now clearly visible in the tool manager. The measured values have flowed through, we can see the tool number and offsets exactly as they were measured on the presetter. The data flow can actually take place in two directions. So if we make a change on the machine, in this case we're going to mark the status field as one or used, this can flow back to the presetter and database. This is a very useful feature if tracking things like toolware, usage, or maybe even interfacing with our full tool management solution, TP32. Unloading the tool is simply the reverse of loading. You select unload tool, and the data is removed from the NC control. You can now physically remove the tool from the machine carousel. Back at the presetter, if we want, we can re-inspect the tool. Or for example, we can simply rescan the QR code. The data is retrieved once again from the database, and we can see that that tool status field is now updated as we did on the machine tool. This system is not only limited to one preset to one machine, but can be expanded to suit any environment and application, including things such as fixture tracking or gauge tracking. Please get in touch with us or follow us at the links that you can see now for more information.